George, good luck, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the brakes the right stays Like that. Well, first game. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Learning to Drive with George. Okay, so what did we do last lesson? Um, two lane roundabouts. Yeah, so mm. we started two lane roundabouts at the end. Um, but yeah, so I want you to become a little bit more independent now, okay, on the drive. So on main roads, just remember, plan ahead, look out for signs, and just kind of know which lanes you need to be in, and when to move back to the left if there's any bus lanes, or mm -hmm. if you're allowed to use them. And we'll recap on the two lane roundabouts, but I'll still talk through the two lane roundabouts to begin with today, and then yeah. later on we'll try them online. Sounds good? Sounds pretty good. All right, perfect, let's get the car on. Okay, so you're all set, yeah? Mm -hmm. Not stretching. You're not stretching, are you? No. Yeah. Seems like we can do a little bit further back today. There you go. Any more is still okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Should probably change it now. Good. What was that? Friday, 7 to 7 pm. So we can't use it, right? Okay. Slowing down. Okay. So remember when you're adjusting your speed, slowing down, picking up speed, you should be checking your mirrors to know what's mm -hmm. happening around, around the vehicle. And before moving on. Well done. Oops. I just came out too quick around the top this time. So just a reminder we're going to follow the road ahead, okay? And the bus lane in here. And the bus lane. So we come over it. Do you signal to go? Correct. Perfect, because you're switching lanes, right? Mm -hmm. Well done. Okay, so sometimes I won't respond just so if you are telling the, mm -hmm. me the right stuff, I'm like, I'm just going to try. We need to get to a point where you can try doing this stuff more or less on your own. Yeah. So I remember we've done this before and I made the mistake where I went Correct. inside. So this was a little test to see if you'd move back to the left after the bus lane, which you did really well. Do you have to see? Do you have to see? Do you change the lane? Yeah. So whenever you're switching lanes, you want to tell people you're going from one lane to another. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, if the lanes are merging, then no. You just check your mirrors. Well done. So we had priority. You just found a big enough gap to turn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We slowed us down though. So. Yeah. So. But then at the same time, you was a bit kind of hesitant and yeah. going as well. So you took the opportunity to just go. Good mirror check because I've overtaken. Perfect, well done. That was a nice gap with the, the vehicle on the left. You can come inside of it. Yeah, so this is just a bus stop, not a bus lane. There was no signs, there's no solid white line either. Now to overtake, there's enough space there. I would use the signal. What do you mean? Signal right. I told you where this up is. Good. So signal. Check your left mirrors. Come back to that. Yeah, go to your speed. So there was oncoming cars there, right? Yeah. And there was enough space for us to overtake. Would you agree? Mm-hmm. So if there's enough space, but there's oncoming cars, you're going onto their side of the road a little bit, and to tell the bus driver you're about to overtake, we'd like to use the signal. Oh, right, okay. Okay, so we're telling everyone that we're about to overtake. A little bit in the bus lane, by the way. Just now and again, check your left mirrors, make sure you can see that white line on the left, okay? Okay, so what happened with those two lanes there? Much. Yeah, so you checked your top mirror, what about your left mirror? Oh. So there could have been someone right next to us. Yeah, not behind us, but on the left of you. So you've got to still check your left mirrors. Lanes 
lanes were there back there? One lane going into two. So it's splitting, right? Yeah. So do you need a signal? Um, you then you just have to check your mirrors and just make sure it's safe and that no one's <laughs> trying to get there before you. I'll just keep well, this guy needed to signal because he came over. Correct. Right? He switched lanes. Well done. So if it's one splitting into two, you don't need to signal. Correct. You just got to check your mirrors. If you end up going into a lane and then you're switching lane, then yes, you need a signal. See where the bus lane had it ended? Right there. Yeah, it's further back though, you could have moved over a lot sooner. But was, was it not even bus time anyway? The timing? Was, you said it was. Yeah, so it was 7 till 10, 4 till 7, so 7 a.m. till 10 a.m. till 4, and then 4 till 7 p.m. So we could have used it now. Correct, so it's only 1 o'clock now, so we could have easily used it. See how that van's using it, that way he just gets to keep him, keeping his lane behind us. Mm. He's not an overtaking. Good mirror check, so the two lanes just merged well done. And we're gonna take the next road on your right. We'll talk about that situation afterwards. If your positioning's too far to the left, keep them all to the right. That's it. So remember if there's two lanes, so you have a bus lane and our lane, keep mm -hmm. in the middle of your lane. Keep more to the right, you're drifting to the left. Thank you. Keep more to the right, that's it, well done. There's no oncoming cars, just watch out for new people walking behind. Well done. happy with that meeting situation, well done. Do you know what these signs in front mean? It literally says. <laughs> yeah, give way to oncoming yeah. vehicles. Now there's no oncoming vehicles, so we can proceed. Well done. But sometimes you won't have the bit underneath written telling mm. you what they mean, okay? So you need to know what these signs mean. So the guy with the, the person with the bigger arrow has priority of the, the smaller arrow. Yeah? yeah? So we have priority this time. Can you see how they've got the giveaway lines on their side? Mm -hmm. That's where they should be stopping. Well done. Let's just say thank you to them. Where are we going? Straight ahead. Yeah, keep on the road ahead. Check your mirrors, just make sure you know what's happening around you. Well done. And then check which mirrors. Okay. Do the rest on your own. What speed can we go with these humps at? 20. Yeah, if you can get both your tyres on either side like this, mm -hmm. but he's driving at 13 miles per hour, which is a little too slow, yeah? Mm -hmm. Good. Good, but I didn't see you check your right mirrors to move back over to the right. Okay. As soon as he had passed, I felt like we had to move to the right, which you did. You need to check your mirrors first. Perfect. A little bit too close there on my mm -hmm. side, yeah? Thank you. So keep an eye on the gap that you've got with the left, okay? Now if you are going to go use the middle one, you've got to make sure you check that no one's overtaking mm -hmm. and that it's safe to do so, yeah? Again, the brakes feel yeah. a bit pumpy, yeah? Clutch down, clutch down, into first gear, take your time.
So just there, you try to move off the, uh, you try to move off in second gear, but then you realize and you're still trying to move off and trying to change gears at the same time. Yeah. So your clutch is halfway. Clutch needs to be fully down to change gears, yeah? So are you daydreaming there? A little bit. <laughs> Take cyclists again? Um, slowly. Okay. Yeah. okay. Well, there's a band. Let's just deal with this. So I just slow down. There's no point overtaking at the moment. We're just going to deal with the band. Give the band a little bit more space. To, that's it. Stay behind the cyclists. Give them plenty of room. Yeah, Follow all your pro users. Correct. And now we check our. Right now. Yeah. Give them loads of space. Is there enough space to overtake? Yeah. Just watch out for the motorbike in front. Good. Speed up a little bit quicker. Wait until you see them in the mirror. Perfect. <laughs> Come back in. <laughs> what was this way? Yeah, I just zoomed past. <laughs> see why they're called organ, organ donors. Yeah. So yeah, that's why we check our mirrors to move our position out and look out for the... Yeah, yeah. One Good. Okay, next roundabout. We're going to turn right. Second exit. Oh, and this sorry. is why we check our mirrors before moving off, yeah? Mm -hmm. Now you didn't need to move your position there, you just gotta be aware of her, yeah? That's a dude. Sorry. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Are we turning right, right? Yeah, so we're turning right, second exit at the runabout. Is there any yeah. points in anything at this point? Uh, yeah, so this is about eight car lengths away, this is usually how far, far away we do on the signal for. And the thing is, you're not checking your mirrors each time you're moving off. Even from a, if you stop, start, stop, start, you should be checking your mirrors. Cyclists and motorbikes will creep up on you. Okay, not bad. I feel like you didn't observe enough to the right though on the roundabout. Mm -hmm. Okay, turn left at the roundabout. Now we'll wait you? before the jump. Correct. To after the junction, to the moment. Well done. We're turning left, so you should be. That's it. Signal was a little late. Yeah. Is that woman about to cross? Yes, she is. There we go. <gasps> Check all mirrors. Let's go. Well done. So you couldn't see that pedestrian very well, could you? No. It's because she was hidden just behind the vehicle. Now, if you've got a pedestrian crossing, you still got to assess if it's safe and if there's anyone there. The only reason I saw her is because I looked through the window. So I look for windows or cars and see if you can see anyone moving around near the crossing. If you're not sure, come to a stop or slow it right down so you give yourself more time to assess. Okay? Okay. Good. Did you check your mirrors? No. Oh. If you're going to slow down that quickly as well, you've got to be aware of what's happening behind you. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Straight ahead again, which is first exit. Okay, so look at the signal, let's go. This is turning left. Oh, it's zero. So it's zero. And. So I feel like you missed two opportunities there to go. One was where the, <coughs> the car on your right was blocked. waiting there, he was getting blocked, correct? And there was another one where the, the van on your left, uh, on your right, signaling left, and you could have gone then, because he's not crossing your path, right? Yeah. Would that be a minor of hesitation? Or? Yes. So on that occasion, I would have given you a minor, but... You get a minor for being extra safe, in It's a way. not extra safe, it's your... <laughs> extra pointless. Um, yeah, that's it, pointless. <laughs> There's no reason for you to sit there if no one's... traffic as well? That's it. Well? So you're holding up traffic on that occasion, and then if people can see that you can go, but you're not going, what they're most likely to going to do to you? Correct. And at a junction, is that safe? No. No. Next roundabout, you can turn right, second exit.
Clutch came up a bit too quick, by the way, yeah. Now it's really slow clutch down, first gear. Can you feel the car juddering there? Mm -hmm. Well done. Perfect, good observations. Well done, I was happy with that roundabout. Just at one point the car was juddering because you're going uphill and you're trying to slow down yeah, and you just need to drop down to a lower gear. That motorbike obviously said sorry to you because you shouldn't have come. Yeah. Yeah. So but your speed was good and you dealt with him safely. Well done. There's enough space there. Clutch down. Hold first gear. Okay, off the gas, there you go, get control, well done, keep left, and let's go, we'll talk about it in a second. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, so what happened there was that you put your clutch down because you saw the oncoming cars, so you were thinking about slowing down or stopping, mm -hmm. and you were in second gear, and you didn't change back to first gear, and you brought your clutch back up, and the car just couldn't cope in that, in that gear for that yeah. speed, so it just stored, and that, that juddering is just trying to, is trying to move, but it can't. Okay. Okay, we're not going into third gear enough as well, by the way, yeah? If you can get your speed up to 20 and stay at 20 for a while, even though it's a 20 road, you can still go into third gear, yeah? So maybe after this black car build, a little bit more speed, get into third now. Pull over and park in a safe place for me, please. That was really good parking. Yeah? Yeah, I was really happy with the way you came in. You did your mirrors and signal correctly as well. Yeah, really good. Well done. Okay, let's drive on again. Okay, good. Well done. Good, well done. At the next set of traffic lights, I'd like us to turn right. What the signal are? Yep, the signal is just a little late. But you did, the way you moved over to the right, that was perfect, because there was one lane back then, it's a bit use of gas. Probably too much but it was good. We can't block this guy, right? Correct. Well, well, he's not moving so we can keep going, right? Well there must be a traffic. Must have gone right. We're gonna talk about it in a second. Check your left mirrors, keep come back to the left lane. So there's two lanes in the new road straight away. We come back to the far the further step, yeah. So when you came out to that to that junction, actually I'll let you deal with this first. So when you came up to those set of traffic lights, what track, what's, uh, tr what light did you have? Green light. Was it a green light or was it a green arrow? Green arrow, oh, so you can only right turn. Correct, so it's a filter light. So it allows anyone that's turning right to do so safely without having to worry about the oncoming traffic. Oh. I mean, you still have a look, just make sure not it's trickled through, um, but it's a filter light, so it's our own side lights which we can use when, and it's safe for you to go basically. Change there from third to first, which is, is fine. Right? Yeah, 
Um, but if possible, if we can slow down even more gradually, we go through the gears. So we gear down. Mm. Yeah. I, I, pro I think I thought I was still in second gear. Through nah, let's see. Because I'm so used to being it. So we need to use it more. To yes, correct. The mirror checks for that. That was a really good turn, well done. The speed was good, the way you went forward a bit more, because there's a sharp turn, that was perfect, well done. Next roundabout, we're turning right, second exit. So next roundabout, turn right, second exit. So it's a two lane roundabout. Do you want me to talk through it, do you want to try it? Let's try it. Okay. Okay, good. That roundabout wasn't too bad. Um, the only thing that was wrong was your positioning a little bit, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, so once we overtook the bus, you have to remind yourself, first of all, if there's a roundabout coming up and there's a vehicle that you need to overtake or a cyclist you need to overtake, you've got to ask yourself, can I make this, can I overtake the vehicle and come back to the, the lane I need mm -hmm. to be in to go on the roundabout? So there was a few people getting on and off the, the bus. So yes, we had enough time. So you check your mirrors, go around and then come back to your left. And then as you got, you, you managed to come back to the left, which was, which was good. Mm. Um, but as you got up to the roundabout, when you started observing to the right, yeah. what happened to your positioning? Can we move to the right? I yeah. think I was confused because 
the I didn't see the line. I saw the zebra crossing. Yeah. And I thought I had to stop before it. To not, okay. I didn't want to block it. Then I didn't yeah. realize there was a line in front of it. Yeah. Where you could, where you need to stop. Yeah. So That's yeah. That's what okay. I wasn't. So I wasn't planning ahead very mm -hmm. well. Yeah. But you you did eventually see it. Now yeah. you understand what 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 mistakes you made there. Um, but the even with that, you still need to keep closer to your left. Yeah. Okay? Even when you enter the roundabout, you just need to keep right over to the left. Mm -hmm. Um, but that was the main fault. Okay, good. We'll drive on again. Don't feel like you observed to the left before actually kind of deciding to go, right? <laughs> and <laughs> clutch is too quick then. We're gonna turn left at the roundabout first exit. Oh, your, your pitch of voice is shot up. <laughs> My head got a little whiplash there. <laughs> Good. Well done. Perfect. Next roundabout, we're going to turn right, third exit. So you managed to take the exit we wanted to, but I felt like we was more in the overtaking lane when we came off. Alright. We weren't back over to the left, were we? But I just didn't feel like a left turn, that's why I was confused. I was thought, have I gone straight? No, okay, we'll take the next road on your left. Good mirrors, good signal. And then I'd like us to pull over and park in a safe place. Okay, so that roundabout just back there. Mm -hmm. So we were turning right third exit, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so as you went into the roundabout, <coughs> your positioning again, I'm having to tell you to keep more to the right. So that's a mistake already, because at the moment I feel like you keep driving two lanes as you're coming up to the roundabout. So keep either far left or far right, okay? Uh, so that's one mistake. As you went into the roundabout, you, you followed around quite nicely. You saw second exit, so you saw you, you thought about coming back to your left. You started checking your mirrors, but you didn't drift back to your left. Remember, at second exit, we want to try moving our position back over to the left, so when it comes to taking the third exit, we're back in the left-hand lane. But you stayed over to the right, mm -hmm. you took your exit, but you said to me that you felt like it was straight ahead or something. I don't know, I didn't... Because you know how you signal left? It just feels weird because you're going straight on. Correct. It's just you're coming off the roundabout. You're turning yeah. here, but you're coming off the roundabout. Yeah? So it's not as if you're making a turn, and this is why we say once you come off, um, on, once you come off roundabouts, especially two-lane or three-lane roundabouts, um, your signal will usually stay on because you haven't made a left turn. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you just right. that signal is there to tell people we're taking that exit. It's not for like a kind of turn. Sometimes it will feel like a turn. That, yeah, that's just what threw me off. Yeah. So use the car in front to reverse parallel park without touching the curb within two car spaces. time as well so it should be prepared first so get yourself into gear and then look around right. okay
Okay, so you're done? Okay, well done. Yes, I'm happy with that cap. Yeah, you would have passed that, well done. Um, there's just, I would have given you two minors though. Mm -hmm. um, one was for your observations. After you done the maneuver, well, when you did the one turn, two turns, and one turn back to your left, and you saw the gap was too big, you started fixing it, but you stopped looking around. You better still continue to look around because you're still doing a maneuver at that point, okay? Um, and the second mine I would have given you was for your control. I feel like you just did your right turns a little too soon, and that's why the gap was too big. Okay, now we're gonna go look at your second maneuver, which is pulling over and parking on the right side of the road. So, okay, now I'd like you to pull over and park in a safe place on the right side of the road. So check top and right mirrors, we signal right. Now, we didn't need to change down to first gear, okay, mm -hmm. but it's fine, we've done it now. So start coming in towards the curb. Not so sharp, coming more gradually, because now, imagine if a car approached you, they'll be like, what are you doing on the road? Yeah. Right, so you need to be able to come in and get out of their, their way in good time. So yeah, leave your right signal on so people still know what you're up to until you come to a complete stop. Now this is not a safe place because you're right in front of the driveway, but right in front of us is. So I would keep moving forward. Keep an eye on the curb, make sure we don't touch it. That's good. Good. That's perfect. And that's a safe place to park. Okay. Okay, we'll come to a stop so you put your handbrake on, put it into neutral. So what you did was, you saw where you wanted to park, but you slowed it right down where it's taking you ages to come over to the other side of the road and then just blocking the flow of traffic mm -hmm. this way, okay? So you wanna make sure you're planning good time and you've got enough speed where you can just come in, keep it slow obviously when you get closer to the curb, and then just park where, where you wanted to park, mm -hmm. okay? So now the second part to this maneuver, reverse back two car lengths and rejoin the road. So we're gonna put it into reverse gear. And then do a seven point check, starting from the right. Correct, so we always finish in the back window when you're reversing, so we know what's happening right behind us. Is it safe? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna release the hold or the, the handbrake, get the car moving slowly, and we reverse back. And now you've got to keep looking all the way around and keep an eye on your mirror so we can keep an eye on how close we are to the curb. Slow it down, okay, I'm gonna get you to stop for a moment. Stop. You're going too fast, so you need to make sure you keep it really slow. It's snail's pace, so you give yourself plenty of time to look around and make sure that gap doesn't get too big. Like straight away, I can see the gap's getting too big. Do you agree? Yeah. And now, if it's getting too big, which way do you want to steer? This way. Perfect. So you think about the back, which way you want the back to go. Look around again. Is it safe? Well done. Good. It's good speed. Looking and look over your right shoulders now and again as well. Just make sure no one's coming out of the driveways. And use small turns so we're not coming out too sharp here. Now that's an oncoming car, so we need to stop. Just like any other maneuver, like the parallel park as well, whenever a car approaches us, what do you want to do? Stop. Yeah, because if we start swinging out and he's going past and there's another car on the other side, he could end up, end up swerving us and mm -hmm. knocking into the other car. Okay. Okay. Have we done two cars, please? Yes, we have, but I'm not happy with your positioning because it's way too big on the right. Yeah. So no, no, stop. So which way do you want the back to go? Oh. So stay that way. So we're just gonna keep reversing back until I'm happy with your your positioning. You can correct this. And use smaller turns because I don't want the front to swing out into the road either. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Use just about a quarter turn to the no, no, quarter turn to the right. The gap's still too big. Go more. That's it. Just hold that. So it comes in gradually. Keep going again, keep going again. I'll tell you when to pull away. Because when you pull away, it's gonna start coming away from the curb. Now pull away, not too much. Can you see how it's coming away from the curb and the gap's getting bigger? Mm -hmm. Perfect, that's an idle gap. Agree? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Now to move away from here actually, um, into first gear. So do a six point check, starting from your right side this time, because we're, we're looking to move over to, to the left. So you always wanna finish in the direction you're looking to go in. Good, find a check over your left shoulder this time, and we come back to our side of the road as quick as we can. That's perfect, a little bit quicker, faster. And check your top and right mirrors, build your speed, and if you can, get in second. Perfect, turn left at the end of the road. Clutch goes down, start crossing, because there's no oncoming cars. Start going in a bit sharper, and then come away, come off the brakes, let the car roll, right signal stays on. 
it going a bit more. A little bit more. That's good. That's perfect. That's really good. And then, that's you popped. How's that? It's good. Pretty simple. Okay, and now we're going to reverse back two car lengths and rejoin the ring. Yeah, that's way for two car. Yeah. What if they put you? What if you park someone? Then they, would they say that if it was only like one one car space? Sorry. What if there's only one car space between? Well, you, you wouldn't have parked there to begin with. But say if someone did park up behind mm -hmm. you, um, and you can't reverse back, they'll get you to move away and they'll get you to do it again. Okay. Okay. Because they've got to be able to see your reversing, so there will be some reversing in your in your test. Good, so we do that whole six point check, seven point check, sorry. Perfect. Well done. Good, fine point. Well done. So the gap is fine at the moment. I wouldn't make it bigger. Would you not say that's okay? I feel like maybe it's getting a little bit bigger, so maybe just slightly in. Do you agree? Look in your mirror. shoulders make sure you there's no driveways and no one's pulling out the driveways so you got to look around everywhere yeah now back window a little more make sure there's no cars coming up or down the road it's good keeping on pedestrians just in case they decide to cross Great, thank you. And we're going to rejoin the road. So, six pen check first, I'm from there. Hold on. Good. Is it safe? Perfect. Good. Do so you feel like you understand it now? Mm -hmm. Know what you're doing? Yeah. Okay, so the next one you're going to try on your own. Proceeding, you was in a position to be able to stop very easily to let her pass. Yeah, I was thinking of it. Then yeah. I saw it going. Perfect. Good. 